witnessing here, senators, is the return of an ancient and forgotten superspecies. Godzilla, the Mutos, Kong. We believe that these titans and others like them provide an essential balance to our world. And while some may pose a threat, Monarch is uniquely prepared to determine which of these titans are here to threaten us and which of these titans are here to protect us. Thank you for the fifth grade history lesson, Mr. Coleman. But we still haven't heard one good reason why monarchs shouldn't fall under military jurisdiction or why these creatures shouldn't be exterminated. Monarch was tasked with finding and destroying these radioactive monsters. But you either can't or won't tell us how many there are or why they're showing up. So maybe it's time for the military to put them down. Killing them would be a mistake. They returned because of us. It was our atomic testing that awoke Godzilla. Other creatures like the Mutos from strip mining and seismic surveys. But these are not monsters. They are animals rising to reclaim a world that was once theirs. It almost sounds like you're protecting them, Dr. Sirizawa, as if you admire them. I admire all forms of life. Senators, if we hope to survive, we must find ways to coexist with Titans, with Godzilla. A sort of symbiotic relationship, if you will. Like the lion and the mouse. Or the scorpion and the frog. So you'd want to make Godzilla our pet? No. We would be his. Ah. <laughs> uh. No, uh, no, actually, <laughs> that's not what Dr. Sirizawa meant. No one is implying that we would be Godzilla or anyone's pet. Dr. Sirizawa, Dr. Graham, this hearing is not adjourned. Dr. Sirizawa, I hope you understand the consequences of walking out that door. Uh, you know what, Senators, while I confer with my colleagues here, I'm going to set you up with a very brief and pretty fun documentary on Titan reproduction. I think this is the one where the genitals are blurred out, but if not, uh, you can leave a comment with my assistant.